everyone, hope you're all doing well. So today I thought that I'd film an empties video because I've been collecting a bag of um, things under my dressing table that I've been using up. So every time I use up a product, I throw it in the bag and I have now reached a limit where I think I just need to film some of the stuff. So I've got some pretty flowers in the background because I don't want it to be winter anymore, I don't want it to be cold, I've had enough, I want spring, I want the nice warm weather and the pretty flowers. So I thought I'd brighten up the room, cheer everything up a little bit with my favourite flowers which are tulips and I just think they're absolutely gorgeous and I put some red lipstick on as well. Um, reason number one being that uh, this is Russian Red by MAC and I only just got this through the post yesterday so I wanted to wear it and try it out and I really really like it. Um, and secondly, it matches my flowers, so I thought I would. Okay, so I'm just going to get straight in. I'm probably going to do this in like categories. Um, so the first category is like body care. So the first product I have is the Honey Mania Bubble Bath Melt from The Body Shop. Um, I've completely used every last drop. There's nothing left in it. Oh, it still smells. So this stuff is um, gorgeous. If you are a fan of having baths, you will love this. Um, it smells gorgeous, it smells sweet, it smells like honey, obviously. Um, and you basically just run a little bit under your tap, makes hundreds of bubbles, makes your skin feel silky soft when you get out. And this is kind of like a cheaper version of the Laura Mercier honey bath stuff. Um, it smells not as sweet as the Laura Mercier one, but I really like this. Um, and I'm definitely going to get some more. I've then got two body butters. The first one is... Um, the Shea Body Butter, and again, I've completely used this up. Um, the reason being, oh, I love the smell of this so much, but because it's quite a plain body butter, it doesn't have too much of a scent, and it's not got any, um, like, fruit kind of extract in it. I like to use this before a fake tan, so if I'm going to fake tan, um, I'll use this. So that's kind of why I've used up this one, um rather than any of the others and then I've also got a mini one as well so as you can see it's like really really tiny and I took this on holiday with me and used it up then and it's a great size to take on holiday I've got another body moisturiser Garnier Oil Beauty um, Oil Infused Nourishing Lotion this is really really nice it smells like argan oil um, which I really like the smell of I never used to like it but it's grown on me it's such a like luxury smell and I use this um, if I've had a really kind of luxury um, bubble bath and I'm having a relaxing pamper evening I will then use this because it's really really rich and nourishing on the skin. Um, it's got a lot of beautifying oils in it so you know that it's doing your skin good and yeah this is like really cheap as well so I really really like this. Another body moisturiser is a really plain and simple one it's just the Vaseline um, plain unfragranced moisture locking body lotion this is good if i'm having um kind of a bad time with my skin if my skin is particularly dry um, which it does get in the winter if you've got really dry knees or elbows or um if you get eczema on your body at all this is really really good as just a plain simple moisturizer so um this is one i always have like in my cupboard okay i've got a shower gel this is the sugar crush body wash by Soap and Glory. I love this but it's gone absolutely disgusting because I've had it in my shower for such a long time. Um, I... Oh, I don't know if I want to open it. Mm, it smells a bit funny. I think this has a bit gone off. It smells delicious. It's kind of like lime and sugar and you've probably smelt it before but it's a really really fresh scent um, really nice if you have showers in the morning to use this in the morning just really wakes you up and yeah I really like this I probably won't get it again at the moment because it's such a big bottle and it takes such a long time to get through and I've got so many other shower gels I need to get through but um, I will use it again at some point because I do really like the smell. I've got a hand cream. Now this is a bit of a weird one. I got this um, for Christmas in my stocking and I've used it up already and I hardly ever use hand cream so um, yeah it's a bit of a weird one. It's from Locatan uh, or however you pronounce it, I pronounce it like that and it's the whipped hand cream. Now they've got, I don't know if it's a new range but they've got a range um, of like whipped products so they've got a shower foam which is whipped They've got like uh, body lotions, hand creams, and I got the hand cream to try, and um, it's quite a cool concept. It comes out, 
in like a little star shape and then it comes out and I've got a tiny bit left and it looks like whipped cream um, and it does smell really gorgeous don't get me wrong and it does moisturise your hands and it leaves them smelling amazing but it hasn't lasted me like long at all because you do need quite a lot of it but Locatan isn't one of the cheapest shops so I reckon this was probably a little bit of money um, and yeah it just didn't last me any time at all so I'm not really too happy with that. I've then got two toothpastes, um, again this is weird, they are the exact same one, just a big size and a small size. Um, this is the Colgate Sensitive Pro Relief Whitening. Now this can be used as a toothpaste or as a treatment, um, if you've got sensitive teeth you can rub it on the tooth, massage it in and leave it on your tooth for a few minutes like as a treatment and I have been doing that because my teeth have been so sensitive recently. Um, if your teeth are just mildly sensitive, this is really good to use as an everyday toothpaste. Um, it's whitening as well, so obviously that's really good. But my teeth have got to a stage where this just doesn't do anything anymore, but it used to really work for me. So I do really like this, but I won't get it again because it's stopped working for me now. Okay, I've then got a perfume. Now, I'm cheating a tiny bit, there's a little bit left, but I don't want to wait till the next video. So this is a new look perfume. Now, it's got really cool like mirror on the top, and I think the packaging makes it look a lot more expensive than it is. Um, and this smells gorgeous and I just keep this on the side of my bathroom and every time I go in there I just have a little spritz and I love it and I've managed to use it up quite a lot it's the pure blush scent um, and yeah I think this is quite cheap as well I think it was only around £10 I might be wrong but it wasn't expensive at all um, so yeah I'm definitely going to be getting another one of these okay so I've got a hair product and this is the um, Herbal Essences Be Strong Intensive Mask now this smells gorgeous it smells like honey Actually, there is a tiny little bit left in there. Oh my god, I could, I could smell that all day. Um, this is a really, really great uh, kind of treatment mask if your hair is quite dry. Um, it's really moisturising. Obviously, it's got honey in it, so um, it helps to like intensely moisturise your hair. I used it about once a week, um, just in the shower, kind of as a conditioner. Left it on for like five minutes. And I did honestly notice a difference. Um, and this isn't expensive either, you can pick this up in boots and it's probably about 5 or £6, pounds. so I'm definitely going to get some more of this. Okay, moving on to makeup, I've got a few bits here that I've used up. Um, I think makeup's one of those things that you don't really use up that often because like makeup lasts you quite a long time and I chop and change what I use every day, so there's not always going to be too much makeup. But there is always going to be these, um, it's the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is my all-time favourite concealer. It's cheap, it does the job, and it's just amazing. I love it so much, but the only downfall is this lasts you hardly any time. I go through so many of these. I've then got a mascara, which again won't be a surprise. This is the Maybelline the Rocket Volume Express Mascara. This is my all-time favourite mascara. It's amazing, I love it. This one is completely dried up, like there's literally nothing left to this. I've had this waiting for quite a while to show. Um, I've got another one on the go at the moment but I'm also doing this thing where I try out new mascaras because I need to just find something else because this is getting a bit silly now how much I actually love this. I've got a foundation, um, it's the MAC Studio Fix Fluid um, in NW13. This is like my foundation, I love this foundation so much. Um, I always find myself going back to it no matter how many new foundations I try, no matter how expensive they are, I go back to this all the time. Again, the only annoying thing about this is I reckon there's still quite a bit in there, I just can't get it out, I've tried hitting it um, onto like the back of my hand but I just can't get enough out. And the last makeup product is another MAC product, it's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is in the shade Light and it's just a powder, I completely hit the bottom, I don't know if you can see that. It's all gridded, there's nothing left in there at all um, and again I've already got a new one which I use every day um, the packaging has changed now though since this one so you can't see through it anymore it's completely black but um, I don't mind that yeah I love okay, the last category I've got is skincare and I've got quite a lot to show you okay so the first thing um, I've got four bottles of it oh and I just dropped one um, and I think you can be able to guess what this is it's the Garnier Micellar Water I've got one two three and the one I just dropped on the floor of this stuff that I have used up um, so I've been collecting all of this for quite a while so oh, I just go through it I don't know how I use so much but I do um, again I use this every single day morning and evening it's just my all-time favorite skincare product 
I've got a face mask, um, this is a lush fresh face mask um, in Cupcake, uh, I, oh god, so I used this up quite a while ago but I just washed out the pot so I could keep it and show you guys, um, I loved the chocolate one, the only thing I didn't like about it was um, when you, when it's time to take off the mask it's so messy and it leaves your sink covered in stuff, you can't really take it off with a flannel because it just stains it um, brown which isn't very nice um, but this is amazing it smells heavenly it smells like chocolate I didn't have any spots at the time when I used this so it says it's good for like oily skin and teenage breakouts etc um, etc et but yeah I didn't have any spots at the time so I don't know if it actually helps with them yeah I loved this one and I think lush fresh face masks are amazing Okay, so I've got a cleanser, and this is the Body Shop Chamomile Calming Cleanser, and this is the Cleansing Butter, um, it all gone, and I absolutely loved it, and I want to get some more, because this is just like a staple cleanser, all skin types can use it, it's so easy to use, it gets off your makeup, it leaves your skin feeling soft, and my skin doesn't feel tight after I've washed my face, which um, I do get with a lot of products, but this is really good. I've then got a moisturiser, this is just a mini little one here from the Body Shop, it's the Vitamin E Night Cream, and I do want to get a big pot of this because I loved it. Um, if you've got dry or dehydrated skin, you need to get this, it's like so thick and moisturising, you can just like slather it onto your face and just leave it on overnight and it just, oh, you wake up in the morning and your skin just feels amazing and so hydrated and moisturised, so yeah, I'm definitely going to get some more of this. Then have a treatment product which is the La Roche-Posay Effaclar Duo. Um, I've mentioned this um, quite a while ago on my channel. Um, I haven't used it in a while. Um, this has been used up for ages so I've kind of forgotten about it. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is really, really good if you um, suffer with any scars on your face or if you kind of get uh, blemishes and then they kind of tend to leave little marks on your face this is really good to kind of even out the complexion on your skin I got a new one but I never kind of got around to using it and then I kind of got out of the habit of using it but I've got one um, waiting in my drawer to be used so I'll probably end up using that soon because this is a really really good product and then last but not least I've got um, a mini Lizelle cleanse and polish hot cloth cleanser type thingy this is again amazing this is um, just a really good nice cleanser for kind of all skin types I used to love using this and I do think I will go back to this soon because it just does the job um, and kind of nothing more but in a way that's just really nice to have just a plain simple cleanser that's got a nice kind of subtle smell um, it does the job, it removes your makeup, it cleanses your skin leaves it feeling soft, doesn't break it out and just kind of does the job at really cleaning your face and I love this stuff. I've got some, I think I've got some. Actually, I don't know if I have got any. Maybe I need to get some. And talking about it now, I've re-persuaded myself to get some, so I'm going to go do that. So that was everything I've used up over the past, I would say, couple of months. Um, obviously, I don't keep everything because some things are boring and you just don't want to see them. Um, but the interesting things I have kept, so I'm going to keep doing that. Um, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and that will indicate to me whether you like these kind of videos and if you do then I will keep collecting and I will do um, these videos over and over again and I will kind of make like a series of it. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye! Do, do.